hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be demonstrating how to cut an asymmetrical bob this video is really straightforward really really simple if you follow the steps you'll have a popping bob by the end of this video so what i like to do is first section off the first um the, the two sections in the front those are going to be a little longer than the back and i like to use clippers because i feel like clippers really help you to get that really really blunt straight cut across and it's it's difficult to make a mistake with clippers i mean it's just really simple like clippers are your best friend um yeah i love using clippers to do bobs to cut my bobs and basically you're gliding the clippers across the hair take your time when you're doing this if this is your first time using clippers but the clippers basically do the work for you so all you're trying to do is kind of get it even i would recommend you um not cutting your bob as short as you actually want it to be if this is your first time just so that if you do make a mistake you have a little room for error so you want to kind of go in and cut the bob i'd say like an inch or two longer than you actually want it to be therefore if you do make an error you know you're not kind of like messing up and having like this really short <laughs> dora the explorer haircut so take your time um with the clippers it's really fast but still take your time and make sure you are actually um sliding the clippers where you actually want the hair to be so it's not too short so the way i'm cutting it is like the very middle of the hair of the head is like one length and as i go down on either side it's kind of like a slope if that makes sense so i'm not my two sides are not my bob is not one length it's not straight across the back is shorter and the the front goes longer at, and the and it gets longer as you go to the front i'm sorry if that <laughs> if that was confusing so i'm kind of cutting like a slope if that makes sense so as you can see it's like the back the middle portion of the back is really short and then it gets longer gradually as i get to the front and that's why you section off those two front pieces just so you don't accidentally cut it too short and you want to make sure you keep that asymmetrical look going so this is really self-explanatory just take your time i promise you if you take your time and follow the tutorial your bob is going to be lit by the end like it's just going to look so good so i also want to add that before cutting this bob i always depending on what texture you're using right now i'm actually using body wave hair you want to make sure you get the hair straight. You want it to be pretty pretty straight. You don't want it to, it doesn't have to be bone straight, but you want it to be pretty close to how the end style is going to be. And that's because if you don't straighten the hair and you cut it, when you do straighten it afterwards, you're going to get like these choppy lengths. It's not going to be one length because you're not going to know the true length of the hair to be able to cut an even um an even length. So make sure that you actually get the hair straight um there's been times when i haven't done that i've done it the opposite way like i've just um i'll just blow dry the hair a little bit and then try to cut it and then by the time you flat iron it you have all these different lengths so definitely definitely make sure you get it straight and then cut that's going to be the most accurate cut you're going to get so take your time there's no rush yes <laughs> So now that I'm basically done with the back, I'm just going to go ahead and start with the front pieces. And like I said earlier, you don't want it to be one length. This is like a slope. So I'm just going to kind of see. Yes, got it. <laughs> there you go. See, pretty self-explanatory. Just don't cut straight. Cut it in a downward motion. If that's what you're looking for, if that's the look you're going for. If you want a straight across, if you want a bob that's going straight across, you want it all in length, then obviously you would just go, you know, straight across. You don't have to go downward or anything like that. But yeah, I just like edgy bobs. I love when the front is a little longer than the back. 
I don't know. I just, I feel like it gives a very sleek and polished, sophisticated look. So now that we're done with the cutting portion, the next step is just going to be to flat iron the hair and you want to do this in small sections and um, I like to bump the ends slightly a little bit, um, just gives it a little, a nice look, a nice shape. So you just want to go ahead and do that and that's basically the end of the video because the next step after this is basically making sure that the top of the wig, the flat, the closure or the frontal is really flat and making it look really natural so thank you so much for watching and just keep watching the rest of the video um, if you did try this and this is your first time please let me know how it went in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video bye bye